It's hard to believe this little box is the backbone of a power station. It's a key part of a software-controlled virtual power plant, or VPP, that interconnects over 2,500 decentralized renewable energy plants and consumers. It routes the power they save to where it's needed, when it's needed. The VPP integrates a range of energy plants, including wind, hydro, solar, and bioenergy. Each energy plant and consumer is connected via an Xbox to the automated control room, which evens out the grid fluctuations caused by renewable in feeds. With this technology, Next Kraftwerke has opened the way for renewable energy plants to participate in the balancing high energy market. There has been a very strong growth on both sides of the VPP market. On the supply side, there's been a big increase in the number of VPP providers entering the market over the last five years. So now we have more competitors. This has caused prices to fall, which is something of a challenge for us, of course. But it is a major boom for grid users, a very positive development. Alliance 90, the Greens co-leader Simon Peter, is at the Hanover Messe to see the energy sector's innovation for herself. Hannover Messe is a key showcase for the latest innovations in technology, in particular the great leap forward made in decentralized energy and renewables over the past decades is very much in evidence here. The renewable energy advances on show span a broad range of technologies, including energy efficiency, smart grids, direct power marketing and electric vehicles, and that is a testament to Germany's innovative power. Another world first at Hanover Messe is the wave power plant developed by SynPower. It generates electricity from ocean waves. The technology uses special buoys to transmit the kinetic energy of wave motion to a linear generator. The first prototype is due to hit the waves next year. Their aim in developing it is to provide coastal dwellers all around the world with a simple and reliable means of generating affordable renewable electricity. These generators that normally the customers that we want to The generators normally use to supply customers in the remote coastal areas that we will be targeting cost about 50 euro cents per kilowatt hour or more to run. That's very expensive. Plus these generators are at the mercy of diesel deliveries and cost a lot to maintain. We want to change all that by harnessing wave power, an energy source that is freely available and very reliable. As wind turbines get bigger, so does the challenge of transporting them to their installation sites. Enercon has a solution for this. It is currently presenting a new turbine series that features a modular nacelle design. It reduces production, transportation and installation time and is suitable for both low and high wind sites. The new V2 Valor 300P fuel cell boiler by Wiesmann enables customers to generate the bulk of their heat and power themselves. The unit is suitable for buildings with low to medium energy requirements. Smart grids and decentralized energy generation. These are among the key topics that experts discussed at the Life Needs Power Energy Forum at Hanover Messe. Because tomorrow's energy mix needs high performance solutions that are smart, efficient and cost effective.